So this is five toys that I bought in 2019 that I also sold in 2019. Um, and like, not necessarily these are bad figures or anything like that. Some of them maybe are. Um, but this is just because when I bought them, um, either they didn't fit into my collection or... But I had my reason, so I'll get into, into that in a moment. But first off, uh, I'm going to talk about Marvel Legends. Now, back in March time, I went on a real big Marvel Legends spree, and I was buying loads of figures left, right, and centre. And one of those figures was Carl Mordo from the Doctor Strange film. Um, and I think this was a bit of a step too far, very similar to when I started Transformers collecting again, and I was buying everything Transformers related. Um... Really, I didn't need this figure in my collection. I had no, uh, no connection with the character, even though the Doctor Strange film is great. And I didn't even have it. I still don't have a Doctor Strange figure. I bought for fifteen pounds, and I sold him for eleven pound fifty quite recently, actually. Um, but I did sell his builder figure part separately for around five pounds. So I bought him for fifteen. I sold him for about sixteen pound fifty in total. Broke even, roughly. That, that that's kind of the thing if you bought a figure that you didn't really want the least you want to do is break even and I did that uh, next up uh, the Lightning Collection White Ranger uh, I really like this figure I really like the look of this line uh, and I bought that figure with the intention to buy more and I never did and I've realised that actually even though it's a great toy line and a great great figure um, it's not something that I want to explore any further. The only figure that I might get is a Green Ranger because I he was my favourite Ranger when I was a kid, even though I was probably a little bit old to get into them properly. Um, however, I sold him on a side of to my mate Luke at work uh, who paid me ten English pounds for it, so I made a ten pound loss roughly on him. But it doesn't matter because Luke's a cool guy, and uh, at least I know it's gone to a good home. So next up was a mask figure and. I've been after this mass vehicle bulldog for a long, long time. Uh, and I finally got one virtually complete, just missing the missile uh, for £30 off someone off Twitter posted. I was amazed. I was so happy when it arrived. I loved playing with it. And then I had nowhere to put it. It was quite a big toy. I've already got Rhino. And it was like, well, I only need one of these things. And Rhino is completely more of an iconic toy than, than Bulldog is. So with reluctance, I actually sold him on. Uh, and I decided to put him onto eBay and actually made 55 quid for him. So I made a 25 quid profit from it, um, which I was quite happy about. Um, but Mass Bulldog is a great toy. And if you've got space for it, definitely pick him up. And speaking of Twitter purchases, I also picked up a clear plastic Siege Mirage from the 3-pack that's for sale on Amazon. You're getting packed with his IDW head and one of the the weird, I forget what the call of thing was anyway. Uh, and it was a great figure, it's really cool. Um, bought it for £22, however, I just think that the standard version is better. And I had no intention of buying the standard version until I saw it. And then I bought it and I thought, you know what, this is better. So I moved him on. Um, again, a little bit of a regret, but I can't really justify having two, three, four versions of the same mould. So I'm trying to keep to one version of a mould unless it's a character I really want or, or I haven't got a newer version of. Like, for example, I've got Ironhide. I didn't bother picking up the Ratchet from the Siege line. But I might pick up Crosshairs because we haven't had a Crosshairs since G1 that looks like that. So, um, yeah, so that, that was next on the list. Um, Siege Mirage, great figure, whether you get the clear one or the mainline one, but I just preferred the, preferred the mainline one, to be honest with you. And finally, um, probably, well, definitely the most expensive purchase that cost me £68 was Magic Square Optimus Prime. And... This is a great figure, it really is, but when I opened the box I was severely underwhelmed with it, simply because it just feels like an updated version of MP10. Um, I wasn't too keen on the matte colouring, and there was bits that are grey that should have been white, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and unfortunately his hand was really loose, so I contacted the seller who basically discounted £17 for me, um, refunded me £17. Uh, which meant that I only paid 51 quid for him. Um, and 
basically, when I bought the Magic Square Optimus Prime, I was toying with a TE Prime, and then I realised I should have bought that. So I managed to pick up one of those. I sold on my um, Magic Square Prime for 69 quid. So I made probably a pound profit overall, but then again, I did get the discount on it, so about 18 quid. So all in all, out of those five purchases, uh, I spent £138 on them. And selling them on, and we need to take into account the bits and fees on this and all that kind of stuff, but best part of 175 quid back. So, what's the moral of this story? The moral of this story is just don't keep things that you don't like. Um, we we step back into collecting, a lot of people my age who, who are watching this video, step back in, and really because of monetary constraints, space, time, all that kind of stuff, you can't afford to keep everything going. And you need to keep a rotation going on in your collection. And that's what I've been doing with mine. If it's got sentimental value or if it fits into key categories of stuff that you want to keep, then that's fine. I mean, I can, I've can. i got some Transformers that are in storage that have sentimental value, but they're rubbish toys. Um, but there's no sentimental value attached to any of them. Well, very rarely attached to the stuff that we buy now. Especially newer line stuff, third party stuff, all that kind of stuff. So the moral of this story is if you buy something you don't quite like, don't necessarily uh, settle for second best. Move it on and get something that you do like. Now, let me give you an example. Um, I sold the Magic Square Prime and I bought the TE Prime and I love that figure. It's amazing. And I'm so happy it's in the centrepiece of my collection just there now. Um, so you can upgrade a purchase that might have been slightly disappointed. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a bit different. Uh, I will, as I said before, I will be doing my top uh, toys and Transformers of this year. I'll get round to it after Christmas. Um, anyway, have a very Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year if I don't speak to you. I've been Zork Rider and I'll catch you again soon.